Well, obviously, I'm Len Bernard. I'm running for county executive. I was born and raised in New York. Um, my mom, uh, we lost dad at a very young age. Mom brought us up. And uh, basically, she brought us up with a couple of uh, issues being dependent upon myself and ourselves and making sure that we work hard and attain things. Um, I started a comp. I worked for more business forms, which where I got most of my training on the printing area, very much like right here. Um, and then I built a company, two companies, Print Partnership and Data Communique. Um, I started them with nothing, and I grew them to a point where I sold them to Avas Advertising at the end of the day. Uh, they became 60, it became a $65 million company with 350 employees. Um, that brings us kind of up to date. When we moved, uh, Terry and I could have chosen anywhere. We chose Ulster County because it really was comfortable for us. It fit like a glove. We enjoyed the outdoors. We kind of enjoyed uh, what the uh, Ulster County brought to us. And then we started getting comfortable here, and um, we opened up two other businesses. Uh, my wife is a Pilates instructor. We have Pilates at the bungalow. And we opened up uh, Skate Time 209. And in opening up Skate Time 209, we realized that um, the trials and tribulations of opening up businesses in Ulster County was not as easy as we thought. But nonetheless, we got through all of the, uh, we mitigated all of the issues, and we opened it, and it's uh, doing very well. And uh, we're enjoying a very nice little business there. <clears throat> then came the charter. And um, people said uh, to me, uh, Len, what do you think about the charter? How do you feel about the charter? And I really thought long and hard about it, and I realized that um, we needed a good government here in Ulster County. Uh, we needed an inclusive government, one that was uh, representative of all of the cu cultures in all of the towns. We needed confidence. I felt the confidence that people had in our local economy and our local uh, government was slipping miserably. We've had failed projects in the jail project. We've had no jobs in three years. Um, there was a lot missing in terms of leadership and organization. So when um, all of this came about, I, uh, as an independent person, I went to uh, uh, Dietrich Warner, who was the um, uh, independence party leader at the time, mm -hmm. and I said, Dietrich, um, you know, you didn't support Terry last year when she ran. My wife ran for District 1. And I said, I want you to know if um, you would support me. He said, well, then you really don't need to ask me that question. He said, you're an independent person. And quite frankly, if you want to run, obviously, we're going to support you. You're our candidate. Um, from there, um, obviously, I went to the uh, Republican side, and I asked them what their criteria was. I went to Mario Catalano, and uh, he said, basically, Len, uh, you would have to visit with all of the... Um, committees in all of the towns and see if in fact they would support you as our candidate. He says, I feel that you would make a great candidate. You're a business person. You're a successful business person and you could add something to the value of our uh, party. So we went through that series of tests uh, and going to each committee. Uh, I was endorsed by several and um, they brought it to their obviously for the convention, and here I sit as a Republican nod. I did the same thing with the conservatives. I went to there, I went through the same process, um, and that process was kind of the same, although I didn't have to go to committees. They had an executive committee I met with. I met with them, I stated my case, and they supported me, and that's how that process worked and looked. But when, when I really started all this, I, I, really, I realized that um, leadership and government is something that we need. Um, and being a leader, as I was in business, I had to make some very tough decisions. And now, as we are here, we have to make some tough decisions during their very tough times. And it's not about choosing sides, you know, Democrat, Republican. We need to depoliticize it. We need to depoliticize the way that everyone and every taxpayer is and has and is included in decisions. Um, so... Uh, it's about bringing sides together, and that's what I feel I could do the best. We need to produce leaders um, within our elected ranks using the supervisors that we have in town that elected, make sure them bring together, make sure we understand what their needs are and mitigate those issues and help mitigate those issues. So we don't have a similar situation that we have right now, as you guys reported, 
um, with this all this election push down of, of money from the county, one point two million dollars. That 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 was not planned well, and we have to have planning. So we need to build a government that we have confidence in. Um, and that's really where I stand. It's a matter of making sure that we build a government with leadership and common sense. And that's what I and depoliticizing, and that's what I feel I bring to the table.